What's going on, people? I have a serious question. And I think it's a great question. Why should I take 30 days to 2,500? Thanks for any assistance you can provide. I say, fair enough, cool. And I decided to do a video about it. That way I can copy and paste when I get that question again. Okay, you're going to speed up or you're going to slow down? I hate indecision on the highway. It drives me mad. But this is why you should shake 30 days to 2500 bucks. If you want to start a business or make the business you have better, what type of businesses does 30 days to $2,500 work for? Online and off? Both. I think because I've had such a strong online presence that people think it's strictly an online course. Here's a new, here's a fact for you. 89% of all commerce is done offline. That number will change this year and they'll change next year. And it's going to, you know, it'll, I think, it, you know, people disagree with me, but I think it'll get to a point where it's 50-50. Uh, there are certain things that just can't go online. You can't go log in and eat at your favorite restaurant online or attend sporting events on, you know, go to a live sporting event online. So there are certain things that are just never going to matriculate to online. You know, when I set this course up, it was predicated on sales. And I'm reading this great book by the name of Traction. I'll remind me if I don't put a link up there remind me and I'll put a link in the comments and this this book is written by this guy who has raised millions upon millions of dollars for startups the book is the whole book's predicated on becoming a salesperson becoming a salesperson it was just really more validation to the things that I'm thinking so 30 days to 2500 bucks is about sales becoming a salesperson one of the exercises is to go out and meet people. And people are like, oh, that's not, you know, that doesn't really get to where I want to do. I just want to get some information, go out and make sales, get some money. Many of the things that seem quirky or don't make sense to you are for foundation building purposes. Say when you went to college and you weren't that great of a student and you spent your first year in college in fucking remedial classes. That's kind of what this is because we live in a society where people don't know how to meet people. That's why online dating and other things are just like over the top crazy because people are afraid of other people. But if you're going to make a transaction with a person, you have to greet and meet them. You have to let them know who you are, what you have to offer. If you can't do that, you will suck ass as a salesperson. You will literally suck ass as a dude out here in the dating marketplace. So, many of the things in there are geared toward getting you moving. One of the things that happens with entrepreneurs and hustlers is overthink, overthink, overthink. Well, what about this scenario? Well, what about this scenario? I knew a guy that spent two years working on his fucking articles and incorporation. Okay, articles and incorporation are very fucking simple. They tell you what the company is, you put some stuff in there, you put the officers, whatnot. You can go online, copy and paste, and change the articles and incorporations to suit your company real easy. Ain't that deep. But his real problem was he was afraid to actually commit himself to the process of starting that business. That was the real problem. That was the issue at hand. That was why he could not do what he needed to do. I tell you, I hate rush hour. Because people are driving like maniacs. Ah, open highway, I love it. He was afraid to actually commit himself to building that business because it's scary. The planning phases, and this is one of the things that 30 days to 2500 bucks will help you with, the planning phases can keep you in a state of suspended animation that you are consistently in that I'm about to start mode without actually starting.
because it sounds good. So what are you doing? Well, I'm thinking about starting a company. Ooh, that sounds so sexy. That sounds so productive. Okay, what's more success? What is more sexy is actually starting the company and being successful with the company. That is way more sexy. So many of the things that people do to prevent themselves from starting a business, 30 days to 2,500 bucks, answers. Because essentially, if you want to start any freaking business, 30 days to 2,500 bucks will help you. Even if it's something complicated, because I do remember a question that I didn't answer. And it's like, well, what if I'm going to do something highly technical? Okay? Whether you do something highly technical, you still need a service, you still need a product. And if this highly technical enterprise needs for you to incorporate, spend money, you can do what's called a pre-sale. Go out, 100 people, and it's like, hey, this is my ideal. Will you buy in early? So you haven't hired the lawyer, you haven't did all this stuff, but you've gotten verbal commitments from 100 people. Uh, roughly 30% will probably flake, so that's 70%. So if you need 100, actually go out and talk to 150 or 200. But essentially, there is no excuse if you want to start a business. The biggest enemy that you have is not your gender, not your background, not your race. It is you. It is you. I'm, I'm doing these videos and I'm putting this stuff out there because there are many people who are in a state of, I don't want to fail. And I'm going to tell you something, probably no one else that sells stuff will. There will be some of you who will take some of my courses and you will fail. You will fail. You will fail massively. Now, the reason is not because the course doesn't work. No, no, no. This is one of the reasons that I don't answer general questions because you can have 100 people and they'll ask the same question and there'll be 100 different responses or action plans because everyone is different. Everyone is different. And that's the thing that drives, I think, uh, some people crazy is because they're looking for cookie cutter solutions to very complex problems. Who you are, what you do, your background, your connections. There are so many variables that go into this thing that we call success that I can give one guy this advice, you should do this X, Y, and Z, and he'll be successful with it. And I can give that same advice to the other person who doesn't have the foundation that this other guy did, and they'll fail, and they'll be like, you know, Glenn, this shit sucks. Man, it sucks big fucking monkey balls. That shit don't work. And because that's one of the reasons that I raised my price for uh, consulting the 450 an hour. When someone comes in, and they can afford 450, they've already have certain foundational things done. And it, it's, it's just a different phone conversation. It's just a totally different ball game. And I really, really love that stuff. Whereas if you are not at a certain level, it's hard for you to grasp some of these concepts. And I'm not calling you stupid, but before you took calculus, you know, you didn't understand that shit before the, the teacher introduced you to it and you had tests. You kind of knew, but you didn't understand it. It didn't mean you were done. It meant you just weren't exposed to that level of mathematical rigor at that point. Same thing with business. I mean, I can do stuff now here in 2014. I couldn't do it in 2009. I mean, honestly, putting together my first blog is it was paralyzing. It's like, there's so much to do. You got to put this plug in. Now, I can do it. And the thing is, I really don't blog that much. I've got one blog and I'm using other things because to me, a blog is just a, pl a place for people to connect. Because a blog without traffic is worthless. It's like a fake $100 bill. But there's this process of learning and making yourself valuable. And many people are trying to get out of that process and not really go through the grooming of yourself as a successful person. There's a certain groom. Because the thing is, and this is really going to hurt, but if you had the tools to be successful and you've been using those tools for five years, 
and you are not where you want to be, then that means those tools are inappropriate for the journey that you want to take. This is the thing. I mean, this stuff is so elegantly simple. I mean, really, it is elegantly simple. Those tools aren't working for you. Now, something else I've learned. Uh, I'm fundamentally ignorant. Ignorant which means there's a lot that I have to learn, which means I have to reach out, read books, listen to webinars, go to seminars, buy books, take courses, actually pay for my education. When I developed that mindset that I was going to pay for my education and stop looking to get something for free or looking for things that were gonna give me fantastic results for little to no effort, I've started to become successful. And that's where many people are. Um, I've noticed that some things have changed in the resale community because there was a lot of noise about this and that. But the thing is, when you are only focused on I don't know why this dude is just hanging out. It's a Fiat. It's a midget car. He's hanging out my blind spot. But when you just focus on resale you, and really don't think about your life, because uh, you know, resale is fun, and I, I might do it part time here and there. I'm not really don't have the time to do it right now. But when you go through the sales process and you understand that there are other ways to be successful it changes your mindset because if you had told me in 2006 that I wasn't going to be a storage auction guy the rest of my life I would have been like whatever I'm buying these units bitch and life said oh well here's something else and it's just it works much better for my life plan and that's one of the things that with the consulting I, I'm going to touch on the consulting a lot of people want to have me consult before paying me. Hey, you know, what should I do? I mean, the rate is four fifty an hour and we can discuss anything you want. Now, the problem is, it's not the money. It's not the money. The problem is, it's the commitment. Because you pay that kind of money, you're going to have to commit to a process that you may not be ready to commit to at this juncture. And that's the thing. Because... I'm looking at this and like I said, I understand there are people who are ass out and I know what it's like to be ass out. I know exactly what it feels like. I know what it looks like. I know what it tastes like, but I also know since I was in that position, what it takes to get out and frequently a handout is not going to help you get out of ass out because your mindset is fucked up. And until you unfuck your mindset, even with all the help in the world, you're still going to get the same results because the problem is the way that you think. And as long as you keep thinking like that, you're going to keep getting those results. And many people just don't want to accept that. It's just easier to blame someone else for your misgivings versus to take personal responsibility and say, you know what? The reason that I'm getting yard bird results is because I'm a yard bird. That is the thing that gets lost in translation. Ooh, we're building a new quick trip. They seem to be throwing these bad boys up left and right. But if you want to be successful, if you want to start a business, 30 days to 2,500 bucks will help you out. But the biggest effort must come from you. It must be prolonged, a consistent effort, and you've got to keep pushing. Because, you know, going back to being an ass out, going back to being poor, going back to not having any money. When you're in a position like that, it's very, very hard for you to see a better future. Because everything that you do, everything that you touch, it hurts. I mean, your reality is such it is just unimaginable to even see yourself 
living that high life or that premium life. It just is not part of uh, the plan because so many things have gone wrong. Now I'm here to tell you, if you do a few things, and this isn't even about taking my course, if you come up with some goals, this first thing, and then you become very active because you'll come up with your goals and some will work out, some will not, but you'll develop a process of implementation of turning whims into reality that will help you for the rest of your life. Because, you know, going back to being a bum, my mindset was messed up. I mean, the way that I thought about life, the way that I felt life should be taking care of me, it was all mindset issues. It was seriously mindset issues. And when you learn that about yourself, whatever it is that's holding you back and you address it, you will start to see success on different levels. You'll start to enjoy every day versus cursing days because life is good. Life is great. Life is, I mean, seriously, you will just start to enjoy life on many different levels in a manner that you just can't even conceive right now because of the pain. I mean, pain dulls the senses. But essentially, if you want to really change how you do stuff with your business or start a business, and I will say 30 days to 2,500 bucks, it's pretty rigorous. It's a, it's a lot of stuff, it's a lot of activity, and it's gonna push you and it's gonna stretch you. It's going to really, really make you think about some stuff. It's elegantly simple, but it's very hard. And uh, essentially, that's the thing. You gotta really make the decision. Cause uh, I put up this video earlier. How much is your success worth to you? And once again, this isn't about money. It's the commitment to time. That's the big issue. The commitment to time. Are you gonna commit and make that time to become successful or you're going to keep making excuses saying that the reason I'm not successful is because of this, because of that. I mean, essentially, we all only have 24 hours in a day. No one has 25. No one has 30. It's what you do with those hours that matter. So hopefully this cleared up some stuff, gave you a little bit more background. And uh, with that, I'll see you on the good side.